put all my silver waste in my silver refining stock pot to cement out any precious metals that might still be present in this waste solution. So I'm gonna siphon this down into my silver refining stock pot right now, here we go. I'm gonna to try to draw a little bit more of this liquid out of here and get it down into my silver refining stock pot. If a little silver gets pulled up with this liquid, that's okay because there's gonna be silver down in the bottom of my silver refining stock pot. This is the bucket. That I used to cement silver into. There's some copper down in there. And I need to get the rest of this liquid out of here. But as you can see, my silver refining stock pot is full. So what I'll do is I'll cover this up, let it set, and I've got a temporary container. And I'm going to get the rest of this solution out of this bucket down into this temporary container so I can get it out of here, get it out of the way. Here we go, we're gonna transfer this barren blue copper solution out of this bucket down into a temporary storage bucket. Now I'll set these two buckets out of the way and what we'll do then is we're going to transfer this silver solution in this beaker into my reaction bucket it's full of copper and more cement silver. So let's go ahead and do that. That way we get our beaker back. Take the piece of copper, add it to this, and then we're going to pour this silver now into our silver reaction bucket that's full of cement silver. There's the cement silver from the reaction out of this beaker. I'm gonna add it right in here. Just to get the beaker back and in service. Silver rinse water here. I'm going to add this right into this bucket because we need to dilute the silver solution. And I've got some silver nitrate solution that I filtered out earlier in the previous video. We're going to add this to our reaction bucket. And what will happen is this stuff will cement out on the pieces of copper in here. And this is why I really don't care for processing silver. I mean, I love silver. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But processing it is messy. There's lots of solutions, bulky solutions that have to be dealt with. And it's just a, uh, a lot of work compared to gold refining. Back here, I've got a, uh, a container that's full of some silver solution. And I've got some uh, pieces of sterling silver in there with it. And what that's doing, I left it on the heat and it'll consume all the excess nitric acid in here with those extra pieces of sterling silver that's down in the uh, solution see them there and that'll kill all the excess nitrate put that silver in solution and then what I'll do is filter this get all the solids out of it and then we'll add it into our reaction bucket here it's full of copper and cement silver out 
onto the pieces of copper in my reaction bucket. This will produce some fumes, so I leave it in my fume hood. I hope this gives you an idea of the uh, what it, what's involved in refining this silver. And if you look here, I've got another reaction bucket that I've started. And this thing is half full of cement silver. So what I need to do with this is get all that blue liquid rinsed off of there, get it dried out, and get it melted into shot so that we can run it through the electrolytic silver cell. This is where all the waste goes in this bucket. And uh, what will happen is any residual precious metals that's in this silver refining waste solution will cement out on the pieces of copper in there. And once this solution is completely devoid of any precious metals, I'll transfer it into my waste treatment bucket. It's full of iron and we'll cement the copper out of this solution. Here's the readings on our silver cell. Cell number one's at uh, a little over one amp. Same with cell number two. And the beast is at 2.9 amps. And then here's our anode filter baskets. I'm not gonna add any more silver to this one. This one has uh, consumed a little bit of the silver. So what I'm gonna do is grab a, uh, a sacrificial anode bar and stick that down in there. And what that'll do, it'll complete the circuit and we still got current flow through the cell. But what'll happen is as that silver gets consumed in the anode filter basket, that sacrificial bar will get down into the electrolyte and it will start to dissolve, but we can protect our anode electrode bar from dissolving by having that uh, sacrificial silver bar underneath our anode electrode. I'll do the same thing for silver cell number one. What these are is, that's a piece of copper in there. And when I made this anode electrode bar, uh, I melted the piece of copper that was going down in there. And so it just became scrap. We'll use this as a buffer so that the electrolyte does not come in contact with our good anode electrode bar. We'll set our anode electrode bar right on top of that sacrificial bar. And you can see the current flow is good. On cell one and cell two, I'm not gonna add any more impure silver in here. What we're gonna do is just let this go ahead and uh, react through the cell. And then uh, when I get down to a certain level in here, I'll, put a, I'll make up a new filter and uh, change that filter out because the current flow is down because the filter gets full of slimes. So here's what silver cell number one is looking like. Beautiful. Just absolutely breathtaking color of blue. Same with cell number two. We'll let this silver get consumed and then we'll make up a new anode filter basket. And what that will do for us is uh, increase the conductivity through the cell and speed things up. And here is cell number two in the crystal formation. So far, this is day five of our silver cell operations. Have a look down inside the beast. See what this thing's looking like. Nice. Look at that big clump of silver down here. Beautiful, pure silver crystal. This thing a stir. This is day five. Uh, this thing cranks out about 10 troy ounces per day. So we should be looking at about 50 troy ounces 
in the beast. We didn't have to add any impure silver to the silver cells. And I think I weighed this one time full of the impure shot and out of the cell full of silver. It's about 400 grams of silver, impure silver in there. Same with this one. And this is probably six times bigger. So there's probably going to be, you know, like what? Two or three kilos worth of impure shot in this anode filter basket on the beast. And uh, I guess that will complete our silver cell maintenance for day five. Thanks for watching.